plunges me to victory beneath the cleansing blood, the blood. I heard about a mansion peers built for me in glory, and I heard about the street of gold beyond the crystal sea.
Give thanks to the Lord with all my, with my whole heart. I will tell all of thy wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O most whole, high. When my enemies turn back, they stumble and perish before thee. For thou hast maintained my just cause. Thou hast sat on the throne giving righteous judgment. Thou hast rebuked the nations. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast blotted out their name forever and ever. The enemy have vanished in, va in everlasting ruins. Their cities thou hast rooted out. The very memory of them has perished. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has established his throne for judgment, and he judges the world with righteousness. He judges the peoples with equity. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in time of trouble. And those who know thy, thy name, put thy trust in thee. For thou, O Lord, hast not forsaken those who seek thee. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Tell among the peoples his deeds. For he who avenges blood is mindful of them. He does not forget the cry of the afflicted. Be gracious to me, O Lord. Behold what I suffer from those who hate me. O thou who liftest me up from the gates of death, that I may recount all thy praises, that the gates of the daughter of Zion I may rejoice in the deliverance, in thy deliverance. The nations have sunk in the pit which they made, in the net which they hid, their own foot has been caught. The Lord has made himself known, he has executed judgment for the wicked are snared in the work of their own hands. The wicked shall depart to Sheol, all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the nations be judged before thee. Put them in fear, O Lord. Let the nations know that they are but men. Good morning, everyone. Oh, that uh, that's Psalms is awesome. It gives us the assurance that God is always for us. That God has got our best interests at hand, in mind at all times. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that we just were traveling, and man, those gas prices seem to keep going up. You know, I don't know. But no matter what, we know that He's in control. And our hope for a better future comes from Him. Our hope for a brighter tomorrow when we wake up in the morning comes from Him. He gives us our, our reassurance that no matter what this life holds, He is God, He's God and He's great and He loves us and He gives us that hope. So uh, today as we, uh, as we sing, let's, let's focus on where our hope comes from and how much we love and cherish God. So let's stand as we sing this, this uh, number 851, I'll fly away. Some glad morning when this life is o'er, I'll fly away to a home on God's rest of shore. I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away when I die. Hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. When the shadows of this life have grown, I'll fly away. To a home on God's celestial shore, I'll fly away. Fly away when 
I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Just a few more weary days and then I'll fly away. To a land where joy shall never end, I'll fly away. And I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. That was awesome. Right, let's be seated. Please stand. You guys can sit if you'd like. My only hope is you, Jesus. My only hope is you. From early in the morning to late at night, my only hope is you. My only peace is you, Jesus. My only peace is you. From early in the morning to late at night, my only peace is you. My only joy is you, Jesus. My only joy is you. From early in the morning to late at night, my only joy is you. All that I need is you, Jesus. All that I need is you. From early in the morning to late at night, all that I need is you. And that's so true. You know, you think about how many times in our lives we put all our hope and our joy and our desires into something of this world and it always seems to fail and there's always something about it you know my oh my so happy because my spouse is happy well what happens when they're not you know and, and now i'm i'm mad you know but jesus is a constant he's that that consistent you know and and so we're putting our hope and our joy and our love into him and then that means that we can then shed to those around us that hope and love and joy to everyone else so we're just he's our little everything so this next song uh, just honoring God, right? Just, just being in awe of Him, almost to the point that we don't even know what to say. You know, those those speechless moments is really where we want to be when we love God. So, You are glorious beyond description, too marvelous for words, too wonderful for comprehension. Like nothing ever seen or heard Who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depth of your love? You are glorious beyond description And majesty enthroned above And I stand, I stand in all of you, I stand, I stand in all of you, holy God to whom all praises do, I stand in all of you. All my life is seen beyond redemption, too sinful to be saved. To tarnish, to reflect your glory, indifferent to the gift you gave. But your love for coming resistance, I accepted the gift of your Son. Now I offer up my song unceasing. And the praise goes on and on. And I stand, I stand in all of you. I stand, I stand in all of you. Oh, 
glory God to whom all praises do I stand in awe of you my design that was concealed from rulers you sent your only son in death the gift of life was given in shame a glorious victory won to the world the cross is but folly yet to me it is all i need on from humility to exaltation executed to enthrone and i stand i stand in all of you i stand i stand in all of you holy god to whom all praises do i stand in all of you and we stand we stand in all of you we stand we stand in all of you holy god to whom when our praises do we stand in all of you you guys may be seated morning. You guys look like a bunch of white geese out there. What does that mean? What's the plural of goose? That is geese, right? So you look like white geese. Hmm. This is written by Stuart Powell. There is nothing strange about a herd of cattle in the farmland of Indiana. However, one herd contained a single member who stood out among the many. Amid the collection of four-legged bovine grazed a two-legged feathered web-footed white goose. Nothing could hide the difference between the bird and the other grazing animals. Christians are called to be like that goose in the world. Just as a goose doesn't belong in a herd of cattle, followers of Jesus don't fit in with the ideas and priorities of worldly people. God expects us to intermingle with the rest of the herd and for our difference to provide a stark contrast with sinful humanity. Jesus highlighted this when he told his disciples, if the world hates you, keep in mind, it hated me first. If you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, and that is why the world hates you. If we are committed to following Jesus' example of living and loving to reflect God, our differences will stand out. We are called to display Jesus' compassion, forgiveness, and gentleness to all people. We are equipped, equipped to serve and encourage non-believers. Those differences will invite many reactions from those around us. Curiosity, sympathy, rejection, sometimes hatred. We are different from people of the world because we believe Jesus died as a sacrifice in our place. We are different because we believe he rose from the dead and ascended to a heavenly throne. We are different because our sins have been taken away, our shame has been replaced with hope, and our selfish choices have been transformed into displays of grace. The world hated and killed Jesus without just cause. His body was pierced for our restoration to our creator. His blood 
removes the stain of sin on our hearts. His sacrifice can unite every person in human history. We should never forget these truths when we pause to eat this bread and drink from this cup to remember Jesus' death. We fulfill his command. Do this in remembrance of me. Eat the bread to remember Jesus' body. Drink from the cup and give thanks for his sacrifice. Celebrate being different from the herd. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for loving us. So we be different. We need to be different, but we still need to be in the world to show others the love that Jesus has for them as well. Be with us, Lord, as we partake of this bread, so symbolic of Jesus' body broken on that cross for us. Though he be sin-free, we are sinful. Yet he took all our sins upon him because of his love for us. All this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us again pray. Father in heaven, we each hold this cup of juice so symbolic of Jesus' body or Jesus' blood that was shed on the cross. Let it cleanse us. Let it purify us. Let, us. let it make us white as snow. We know next week we will come in again dirtied with sinful thoughts and deeds. Yet you are there for us to cleanse us again and again and again. Be with us as we partake this cup. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. certainly special one. Would you tell us about Diane? Diane Corp is at ACMC. She broke her fever, that upper big bone. They say at this point, it looks like they can't operate on it in surgery. She probably would not survive it. She also has had, I don't know the status now, but she had a blood infection another infection and she was in great medical distress. She is stable now, um, but she probably won't be going home. So pray for her and pray for Dave and for all of their children. This is a really difficult time. Also, Roger, I got a call son and she passed away. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be a service on the 30th, I believe, of July. Um, and we'll give you details about that next week. She's, we've been in touch. Her son has called me and talked and they knew she was fading. She's lived a good long life and 
she's our sister in Christ, and we're sad about it, but we're grateful that she's gone home to be with the Lord. She was looking forward to it. Others. Brenda. Pray for our vacation Bible school coming up on the 25th, 6th, and 7th. Invite, invite, invite. <laughs> and we are having a meeting tomorrow night at 6 30 here. Teachers and helpers. Others. Yes. Dan. That's Dan? That's somebody else. Ernie. 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 Nick. Friend of mine, Jim Robinson, um, has cancer. 